this uh, video, I'm going to show you a couple things. I'm going to show you, uh, this is a Harbor Freight uh, swivel head. This is 72 teeth. And I got this for like 12, 13 bucks. Alright. It has a quick release. That's the difference in length though. Eh, it's not as great. Let me get that one out of the way. 72 tooth. This is my one of my new favorite ratchets. It's the 100 tooth. It's uh, the brand that they're carrying from uh, Napa. I wanted to get the uh, snap-on. It was like 90 something dollars for the snap-on like a year or two ago. And then I go on the snap-on truck <clears throat> from Napa. It's the 100 tooth. <clears throat> I, go, I go on the snap-on truck and now it's 120 something dollars. And I'm like, forget it, dude. You, you raise the price like that. It's 100 teeth. It's nice. I like it. You could use it as a driver. It's got real nice leverage. They also have the quarter inch. I don't know if they have the half inch. I was on the Mac, Matco tool truck today. And I asked him to uh, see his, uh, he had a 102 swivel head. It's a new thing. And I'm telling you, I'm telling you. I looked at this. It's the same thing, dude. I'm telling you, it's the exact same thing. Matter of fact, the one from Matco is about that much shorter than this one. This one has that extra leverage that you need. This was like 80 something dollars, but they had it on sale for like 60, like 50 something dollars. So I got it for like 60 bucks. You know, it's a little bit pricey. It's made in Taiwan. <clears throat> but uh, when you take into consideration though, a lot of the stuff, the internals of even a lot of tool manufacturers are made in other, in other countries. For example, snap on the uh, the internals from snap on I believe they're not even made in US anymore hence the reason they took off of the the stamp the USA stamp and everybody knows it's a big old controversy why they take the USA stamp off and they say oh because we're an international company well if you're an international company you take it off of the ratchet how come you don't take it off your wrenches doesn't make any sense the whole reason for that is because a certain amount of a product has to be made in the U.S. for it to say U USA on it. Because the internals are not made in USA, they're not allowed to put the USA. So, anyways, I wanted to show you this, my new ratchet. Really nice. I like it. I wanted to take it apart for you also. And uh, I just want to show you the tools you need. All you need is a, um, let me see. This is a... T9 it's a Torx small Torx T9 and then uh, the only the only tool I actually <clears throat> found that works and I was surprised because this is made in Taiwan the six point sockets the quarter inch sockets uh, are a little bit fatter so I got this 5 16 12 point got the 12 point five sixteenths and uh that that's all the tools you need and i'm just gonna use a little bit of this ultra disc brake lube i've used this for years on my ratchets and then so i'll just show you real quick how to take it apart you just go right here hold it from the bottom because it has the the quick release see right here so you just hold it from the bottom and i have this uh <clears throat> hand i have this magnetic tray ready so that I can't lose the parts so you just see a little screw right there you loosen it so that's what I'm gonna do and there's spring tension so I put it over here so nothing falls so little screw comes out little teeny screw and then you have this I believe this is uh, aluminum cover and then you have this little spring that faces this way and then this comes off where's 
is my pocket screwdriver. Just you not? I bet. Sorry. Then the nut. I gotta take the nut off. It's a 5 16 You probably cannot use a 5 16 uh, 3 8 drive. You're gonna have to use a 5 16 uh, quarter inch drive. And I don't even know if the 6 point will work, 12 point is gonna work. So counterclockwise. Hold it from the bottom. And then the little nut comes off like that. And you can see they use like a little bit of Loctite. Now this will come off. Now pay attention how it's coming off. Alright. I'll show you how to put it back. And then this goes down through the bottom. Clean it off. You can check it for wear. It looks like, uh, let me see how many teeth engage at one time. It looks like uh, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 24, about 12, maybe 12 to 10 teeth engage at one time. That's a good amount of teeth. So now we have it taken apart and we could further disassemble it, but that's all we got to do right now. So all we're going to do is uh, reassemble it. So. I like this stuff. This stuff has uh, worked for me in the past. Put some right here. And I, I tend to put too much, which is fine because it ends up coming out. Get a little bit in here too. Some of it will come out. Probably a lot of it will come out. What's also cool about this is uh, on this piece right here, it actually says the repair kit number. So there is a repair kit as opposed to this one. There is no repair kit. There's no repair kit and I have no idea how you take this apart. You can't take this apart. But these things are tough for what they are for the price of them. They're tough plus the lifetime warranty. The half inch I, I jumped on it with most of my weight and uh, it didn't break. So I mean for 12, 13 bucks. I mean, you can't beat that. But this thing is like really up there as far as quality and professional. I like this a lot. It also has lifetime warranty. So it has the replaceable uh, internals. This really is truck quality. And this brand right here, this brand right here is honestly one of my new favorite brands. A lot of people don't want to spend that type of money on Taiwan made stuff. But when it goes on sale, you know, 60 bucks for this ratchet. This thing probably lasts a lifetime. It's got the uh, lifetime guarantee. I got three Napa's within like miles of each other. I got Napa over where I work. I got Napa's in my neighborhood. I got Napa's everywhere. I don't have, to, uh, if it's Saturday and it breaks, I can't find a t tool truck. So, I mean, 
I would, in other words, I would rather probably have my toolbox filled with all this stuff than I would, I think it's a little bit better than some of the uh, quality like uh, um, Sears. I'm actually looking at the sockets. But you got stuff from uh, Craftsman. Now Craftsman, you could buy the, the good professional type stuff like this. Craftsman Professional. And it's on the same quality level though. The Craftsman Professional. But you know, they got the Chinese made Craftsman. And I'm not knocking it, but this product is uh, a really nice product. And I, I plan on buying more of these. I'm going to get the quarter inch ratchet. Uh, I'll probably get some wrenches to show you guys, and I'll, I'll probably get some uh, some sockets to, to show you the difference in the sockets. But I also wanted to show you, uh, this is a Craftsman. You can't really tell the difference of the color, but this is chrome, and this is like nickel chrome, which is like a cheaper chrome. And see, if you get this from, uh, it's they don't have all the restrictions in Taiwan that we have so they're actually using real chrome instead of the nickel chrome that they're using nowadays for the American stuff so let's get this reassembled so first thing you want to do is make sure the spring is in there set it down on there like that okay now at first I had already done this, but um at first it gave me a little bit of trouble, but then now I got the hang of it. So it just goes in here like that. Just like that. You want to hold it in there. And then so what happens is you, you see it looks like a heart. At the bottom of the heart is where you want to put that this little pin, this little nipple. You want to so you want to push it down a little bit. You want to get it in here at an angle and push it that way. So that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to put a little bit more of this stuff. And yeah, I'm putting way too much, believe me. But I'd like it to stay in there. You're going to hear it. It's going to be like quiet as hell. And some people, they're, they're talking about putting ATF and all this other stuff. But, you know, I take mine apart at least once a year. And uh, this makes it smoother for me. I use oil. You got to oil it all the time. You use grease and it works just fine. So at the bottom of the heart right there. I'm going to pull it down a little bit. So you want to get this piece right there. This piece. And get it at the edge. Shit. Like that. Boom. Now what you want to do is get the nut, put the nut in there, and beware, you do not want to over tighten that nut. If you over tighten the nut, it gets stuck. Do not over tighten that nut. See, that's almost too tight. I gotta loosen it just a little. There you go. A little more yet. You want to have it nice and There you go. Now, you want to get the spring facing this way, facing down like that. 
put the spring in there put this little aluminum cover you're gonna have to hold it a little bit put the uh, screw you want to continue to hold the bottom to push it up and start screwing it in and make sure you don't cross thread it See how it says the repair kit right there? Has a repair kit number. And I was told that uh, this brand, I guess the, the the person who came up with Napa, I think his last name was Carlisle. And uh, what they're trying to do is basically make a brand that is tool truck quality. In other words, top of the line, grade A tools, you know, not Harbor Freight goes for like, you know, cheap tools. And you find some good stuff there but a lot of times you get what you pay for and you get cheap tools and a lot of people don't like the fact that these tools are a little more expensive but honestly I mean this in my opinion for the for the prices it's really it's really uh, tool truck quality right here this is tool truck quality for half the price so you know if you get it on a um, the only thing is you're not gonna get the twenty dollar payments or whatever you're gonna have to pay cash but uh that's no problem for me. You know, if you got a credit card, just buy this for sixty dollars and pay twenty dollars, you know. Actually just save you twenty dollars a week and that's eighty dollars a month and that's it. Pay your credit card off. Now listen how quiet that is uh. And I wanted to do this while it was uh new, but I couldn't help myself. I ended up using it at work. And this thing I put some pressure on this. I should have been using a half inch. And I was cranking on this thing, and this thing was, it, it wasn't doing, I mean, if you're going to put more than 150 pounds, I put about 150 pounds worth of force, and I know that because I've torqued things down to 150 pounds, and this thing didn't give up, the teeth didn't strip, it didn't flex or bend, it stayed in good shape, and if you're going to put over 150 pounds worth of torque on, on a 3 8 ratchet, you're using the wrong tool, you ought to grab a, a half inch ratchet. This thing has stood up though. I like, some people don't like the quick release. I do like it though, because if you're doing something in an engine bay and you got an extension, you put this, it, it comes right off. And I got a, um, my snap on ratchet. I got to go get a screwdriver to pop the socket off. I'll show you that real quick actually. You got the notice there's no more USA USA said USA. Anyways, this does not have the quick release, but my hands get greasy like they are now. And this thing sometimes will slip right off. And I'm trying to grab this thing. I gotta come in there with like a little screwdriver or something, pop it off when my hands start getting greasy. With this thing though, it won't come off when you don't want it to at all. But when you want to release it, you push the button. There's no grabbing and fight and grabbing a screwdriver. I like this quick release thing. I won't even touch the socket. It comes right off. Anyways. So, obviously these aren't the same type of deal, but... Honestly, if I had to choose one or the other right now... I would uh I'd get this one. I'd choose it just because of the fact that it's the swivel head. And uh I think the quality is real nice for the price. So hope you enjoyed the video guys. I am I don't work for this company, but I feel that this is a, a, a nice brand and I guess it's up and coming. They've probably been around for a while. I would have no problem filling with my entire toolbox with this name. I've seen the wrenches. The wrenches look really nice. The sockets look real nice. I'll get some other tools from them, and 
I'll show you some of the um, other tools from them. I'll get the quarter inch ratchet, take that apart and reassemble it, make sure it's the same. But uh, these things are nice. Found at Napa. 100 teeth. Thanks for watching.